In today's video, I'm going to recreate one of the brand new Star Wars dioramas into a Ninjago diorama. We'll see if it actually looks cool and could potentially be a Lego set. So one day I'm looking at my phone, scrolling through all the brand new Lego sets that are coming out. And I come across this super cool Star Wars diorama and it looked absolutely insane. I really wanted to buy it, but I didn't have $80 just lying around because I spent it all on uh, 160 bucks. Oh, what a steal. Yeah, that, oh well. So I decided to build my own. I'm gonna make mine a Ninjago diorama. So first off, what scene from Ninjago to do? It shouldn't be that hard because there are not that many epic scenes from Ninjago. Oh wait. Finally landed on one of the very first scenes from Ninjago. This is where Kai is being trained for the first time by Sensei Wu. So I took about 300 pictures of all the little details and things I needed to know for when I build this. I went onto Lego Studio and mapped out the size and the scales I wanted for this. So the building process is always a blast. I started building the base and it's got this nice black rim around it. And then I put little gold ingots along the edges to make it look fancy. Woo! I finally landed on making this function. So I put a bunch of gearboxes along it. And I was going to make all the training dojo stuff spin when you just turn this one little knob on the back. I really hope it's going to work. It's time to cover the whole entire surface. We're going to get some more. Covering the surface was a blast. And once I was finished, it looked Perfect. Big thanks to my mom for letting me use her like one Lego set. I should probably put this down before I break it. Then it was time to build the monastery itself. So the monastery is kind of like an octagon with curved walls. And if you know anything about Lego, making a wall sloped is always challenging. But I did it. The walls were basically white with brown wood beams going through them. I also added some red trim along the outside to give this monastery a real beautiful look. Now if you turn this knob on the back, the punching bag spin, the little pool spin, and then the axis spin, so they all spin at once. Roofs are really difficult to do, especially if you want to keep the slope right. So what I ended up doing was a staggered roof technique, where one plate is up, one plate is one plate lower, and then it just keeps going like that all the way along. I had to add another floor with a big round window in it, and it looked Phenomenal. I had forgotten one of the most important parts of this whole entire mock. The logo of the theme and the little phrase that someone says at the bottom. So I went back and rewatched the episode that this scene happens in. Once Kai gets through the training course, Kai says this phenomenal line. Was that one sugar or two? So I went onto Affinity Publisher, made a couple stickers, ordered them, and I got them picked up. Then it was time to build the characters. Kai and Sensei Wu. That, that's literally it. Kai and Sensei Wu. Easy. So the last step here is to film some epic, epic B-roll. Would you like to see more of these mocks? You think this could be an actual Lego set? What do you guys think? See you in my next Brick Legends mock. Can't wait. Peace.